Hi everyone, welcome back to Online Classroom Jaegu Tio. In this video, we are going to look at the phenomenon and application of reflection of sound waves. Well, if you are standing right in front of a cave and you start screaming into the cave saying, I love you, what do you expect to hear? You will hear a similar voice saying, I love you, back at you, right? They will repeat whatever you say. Why is that happening? Do you think someone is hiding in that cave and just repeating what you say? No, this is a phenomenon called the echo. What is echo? Echo is produced when sound waves are reflected from a hard surface to the listener. Remember, in our first video in this chapter, we talk about the characteristics of sound waves. We say that sound wave can be reflected, and a good uh, sound reflector will be a hard and a smooth surface. And the echo that we hear, the, ref uh, the reflected sound that we hear, or the echo that we hear, is the same as the original sound. It will take some time for it to travel back to our ears. That's why when we say it, a delay, and then we hear it back. Okay? Why? Because the sound needs to travel towards the hard surface, just like the one shown in this picture. The green wave is your original wave. And then it reflected, which is the pink one, coming back to you. So it takes time to reach back, uh, for it to reach to the listener's ears. Echo can happen in enclosed halls, empty rooms, caves, tunnels, and gorges. So we'll look at some application. The reflection of different sound waves can be produced. Okay, you will hear different sound if the sound wave hit sound waves hit different surfaces, and this will be very useful. We will find out later on why is this useful. Okay. And the recorded reflection will provide us with information and images that can be used in different sectors. Let's dig in a little bit. Ultrasound. What is ultrasound? Ultrasound is a type of sound wave that has a high frequency. The frequency of more than 20,000 hertz. You have to remember this number, okay? 20 thousand hertz why do i say that you need to remember this number because that is the limit of our human hearing anything that is above twenty thousand hertz we cannot hear it which means we cannot hear ultrasound ultrasound cannot be heard by human and it can only be heard by animals like bats they use the bat, animal like bats, they use ultrasound as their GPS <laughs> for navigation. So how do they use that? Actually, when the bat is flying around in a cave, you don't see them knocking into the cave. You don't see accidents. How can they see in such a dark uh, environment? This is because they use ultrasound. They will release or they will produce ultrasound, which they can hear we cannot hear okay and if this ultrasound uh, is blocked by anything in front of them say there is a, a, a tree or if there's a the wall of the cave it will reflect and they will pick up the echo they will pick up the reflected ultrasound which will let them know there's something in front of them so they can avoid it so that's how they use ultrasound to navigate around Well, that is animal. How about us? Well, human, we have invented sound reflection technology called the sonar. What is the sonar? Sonar is a technology that we use in many different industries that use the uh, reflection of ultrasound. It can be used in shipping industry. Let's take a look at this picture over here in this diagram. Well, this ship can uh, release okay can release or produce ultrasound using the machine okay and we cannot hear it but the machine can pick it up they can detect and they can produce it so they produce the, the sonar technology produce the ultrasound that has high frequency and it will travel all the way through this water okay through this water and then the ultrasound will be reflected and come back to the ship 
and the reflected ultrasound will be picked up by the machine and hence they will know if there's any objects under the water they can use the same way or the same uh, technology to to calculate how deep is the sh is the water is the sea sea level okay how deep is the water level so when they produce the ultrasound it will take some time to reach the bottom and then it will take some time to travel back for uh, for it to detect okay so the time taken for the ultrasound to come back the machine will be able to detect and will be able to calculate how far is the bottom the seabed from the water uh, in the surface so they can calculate the depth of the sea then they know how deep the sea is wherever they are and this same technology can be used in fisheries where they, they use the ultrasound using the same concept to find out where are all the fishes and also in the military okay especially the submarine the submarine will need to know where are all their enemies right so they will use ultrasound as well in the medical field we use ultrasound in sonogram I will show you a video of sonogram which you can actually find this video in your textbook if you can pull out your textbook and take a look at the page 232 232 there is a QR code that you can scan using your handphone okay to watch this video I will show it here as well sonogram An ultrasound scan is a procedure that uses high-frequency sound to scan abdomen and pelvis of a pregnant woman, producing image or sonogram of the fetus and placenta. In ultrasound scanning, a device called transducer sends sound waves and receives echo. When a transducer is moved across the abdomen, a high-frequency sound is sent into the body. Since the sound waves are reflected by the internal organs, body fluid, and tissues, a sensitive microphone in the transducer will record a slightest change in pitch and direction of the sound waves. The reflected waves are measured and displayed as an image on screen. Wow, isn't that amazing? So we can use ultrasound, the, uh, the principle of that, that sound or the characteristics of sound that it can be reflected and turn them into images that allow us to see a baby in the womb. So that is in the uh, medical field. Okay, so ultrasound is used in sonogram. Well, do you know that we have limitations in our hearing? Earlier, I mentioned that we need to remember the numbers, remember? The frequency that can be detected by us, by human ear, is in the range of 20 to 20,000 hertz. Remember this figure, okay? 20 to 20,000 hertz. And this range will actually become narrower as we age, as we grow older. Why? Because our ears will lose sensitivity. However, animals have their own limit of hearing. Well, bats, dogs, and dolphins are among the animals that have a lot higher frequency range compared to human beings. So here's the, uh, here is the table that shows you uh, the hearing range of a few different animals, which you can also find in your textbook, okay? So what if the sound is too soft or too far? We can't hear. Well, we have special devices to help us to overcome these limitations. For example, the doctor will use stethoscope to help them to listen to a patient's heartbeat. 
and certain people are born with hearing defect. They cannot hear too well. They can he wear hearing aids, and these hearing aids will amplify, meaning they will make the sound louder as they enter into their ear. And also, when we have sports day, when you need to talk across the field that is very very far, we can get. A megaphone. A megaphone will help us、uh, amplify the voice so that it can be heard from a distance further away. Well, that's all from Jekudio for this whole chapter, chapter ten. We have come to the end. I shall see you again in the next video where we will enter chapter eleven. Okay, see you there. Bye. If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.